be when you grow up? At the age of six, when asked for the first time, I said dinosaur. That's what happens when you let a kid binge watch Barney and reruns of Jurassic Park. I'm still waiting to be 50 feet. But that's not the point. As people, we're not accustomed to such answers. And neither was the teacher, as he decided to call my mum and question if I was doing okay at home. My mum doesn't understand English. So when I got home, I had to translate the whole incident. And after doing so, she gave me a very long stare and said one sentence. Insani banjangi te bari galle which loosely translates to, it'll be a miracle if you even turn out human. From a young age, children are expected to grow up in a structured manner that appeals to the ways of society. We are limited in our way of thinking, which directly affects the way in which we grow up. For those that have Asian parents, you're most familiar with this. It's not because our parents particularly wish to be controlling or mean. This is the fault of a repetitive cycle that they were forced to live in. Growing up, they were confined to the chains of culture, which gave them little freedom, and now their actions are simply a reflection of the past. Take my dad, for example. Before applying for my GCSE options, he asked me, what do you want to be when you grow up? And being interested in piloting at that time, I said, I wanted to join the RAF. And, he, and his response was to laugh and say, you, army, that's funny, you can't even run for your life. The most exercise you get is the walk from the sofa to the fridge and back. And then he went on to give me a lecture about like how most Asian kids, I had three choices, law, medicine, or be put up for adoption. What do you want to be when you grow up is a question only the privileged get asked. And I can thankfully say I am one of them, even if what I want is not always my parents' version of the right answer. My parents, like many others, like the idea of safe jobs, jobs that will get me somewhere in life and ensure I'm financially stable for not only the future, but for generations to come. We all laugh at the exaggerated stories of how our parents had to cross all seven continents and swim through the Atlantic just to get to school. But maybe that's just a way they used to try to avoid the truth, that the system they had built for them used gender as the basis of how far they could get in life. Men, you were expected labourers, and women, you were meant for nothing more but a life slaving behind the kitchen. No matter how old I get, I think I will remain a dinosaur, unsure of what I want.